So journalism largely depends upon documents, right? Journalism depends upon the pronouncements, reports, releases, and events created by bureaucracies. And when you limit your journalism right, to what bureaucracies stage and report and tell you, then you're not going to get sued. But the bureaucratic process of the trial you know, concluded that O.J. Simpson was not guilty of murder, even though the evidence was overwhelming that he was indeed guilty of murder. So Robert Moses, apparently, I wasn't really aware of the guy, was approximately the most powerful man in New York City between about 1930 and 1960. He was a powerful bureaucrat, parks commissioner, and head of the Triborough Authority. So he was able to amass a ton of, of money and power and influence, and it really couldn't be challenged effectively by journalists. Now, when I published my biggest scoops, I generally didn't rely upon documents. So when I published that uh, Mark Wallace was likely uh, patient zero for the HIV outbreak in the San Fernando Valley that uh, led to a dozen or more porn stars testing HIV positive, right? I didn't have any documents. I just had the facts that uh, he'd worked with these girls a few weeks prior to them testing HIV positive.